sorry for my name, guys. <laughs> I fucked it up. This show is diverse. It's so authentic. They got an Arab following a Jew. How great is this? <laughs> this is great, flappers. Good on you, guys. Welcome. My name is Farouk. That's how you pronounce it. Thank you. Or if you're a uh, Starbucks barista, it's Frank. Thank you, guys. I am Arab. Uh, it's official because this is only a five o'clock shadow. I am an Arab, but I am constantly, like, my look constantly gets me misjudged. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm always kind of, like, uh, being looked at in ways I didn't think I'd be looked at. Like, for example, like, I'm an actor as well. I love comedy, but I can't seem to understand why I get a lot of auditions for, uh, for like, terrorist roles. I'm starting to think it's because I'm a uh, Capricorn. It's true, man. I get a lot of these auditions, and, like, I play some of these roles, and they don't fit my personality. I don't, I don't want them at all, but... Uh, they pay me, so. <laughs> $8,000 a week. I'm like, what cave am I crawling out of? <laughs> it's true, man. I get these auditions, and the other day I was on set screaming some carry, like craziness in Arabic. I was like, Get on a kulkam, kulkam. Cut. Woo! <laughs> oh my God, who was that guy? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> It's true, man. I get a lot of these auditions, like, I have to record some of these at home, and I have to mail them in. <laughs> yeah. I tend to save my auditions so I could go back and watch them later. So, like, right now, what I'm saying is, right now, at home, I have a laptop full of a bunch of angry Arab videos. <laughs> I'm like, what if I lost my laptop? What if I left it at the airport? <laughs> Begin discovered in all the wrong ways. Constantly being misjudged, man. Somewhere else I'm being misjudged. So I work for this, uh, this hotel company, right? And I've worked at five different properties. Now, every time you transfer to a new property, you have to do a whole day of orientation again. You know, you learn co a company benefits, the history, and some darker stuff like sexual harassment at the workplace. Five different hotels. Three out of five picked me to be the sexual harasser in the case of sexual harassment. Three out of five. Like, I've never even won a fucking scratch-off ticket. <laughs> Three out of five. Like, at what age did I start developing this resting rape face? God forbid, like, some woman ever gets raped and, like, police have her at the station and, like, can you ad identify the gentleman? She'd take one look at me and be like, not him, but I'd hold on to him. <laughs> Three out of five, man. Well, listen, 20 people in each room. And then, like, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I started thinking, like, damn, those are some crazy numbers. Three out of five. Jesus. And then I started thinking to myself, I'm like, well, what about the other two that didn't pick me? Was it not good enough to be the sexual harasser? And then I realized they picked the only other two black guys in the room. And then they saved me for the, if you see something, say something section. It's true, it sucks, man. I, uh, I am Middle Eastern. Um, like where I was born, I was born in the thick of it, man. Where I was born, it was, it was, it was hot, it was dangerous, and sometimes the craziest, weirdest things would happen. Um, Florida. I'm from Florida. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave you guys with this. I, um, I'm trying to be a better person, like trying to be more involved with kind of like what's going on and, you know, bringing everyone together. And do you guys remember when they had that like whole travel ban thing going on not too long ago? There, uh, and a lot of people went down to LAX. They were coming together and they were kind of like, you know, they had all these chants going and stuff like that. I wanted to make, get down there. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to be a part of it. But I'm not, I'm not very good at protesting, I found out. Um, I get to the airport and they're doing this chant. The first guy's like, no travel ban ever. Everybody deserves to be here. The second guy's like, equal rights for everyone. And now it was my turn and I'm like, Fuck you, Spirit Airlines! <laughs> Carry-ons should be free! Thank you guys so much, that's my time.